New in Windows 8 are gestures. Gestures are Windows way to interact with the computer through a touch screen. Touch screens like this one are now rapidly coming into the marketplace. This one has a separate monitor and a keyboard, but most likely you will first see this type of screen on a laptop. You probably won't even notice it's different until you realise the owner pointing at the screen in between typing. So, does this interactive screen mean that we throw away the mouse? Well, you could, but I wouldn't advise it. A balance is what we're after. Gestures are great for some of the less intricate tasks in the 60 embroidery system, but possibly not the best way to do stitch editing. Here we have the Windows 8 start screen. If we swipe over to the applications, we can see the 60 tile, so we just touch it and up comes 60 embroidery. Now, if you have one of these touch screens, we already know that all the programs by default will work with certain gestures, which are really just use your finger to mimic the mouse. However, if you've tried our 5D embroidery system, you'll have noticed some problems, such as the screen scrolling when trying to move the design around. To get the proper functionality, you need to add gesture ability directly into the code of the application, and that's exactly what we've done with the 60 embroidery system. Let me show you. If we load a design from the camera, we can just move the design around by placing our finger and moving it around the screen. Now I would like to zoom in a little. We can, of course, use any of the standard zoom controls, but if we first deselect the design by tapping anywhere on the screen, we can use the two-finger stretch. Just select an area of the design that you want to zoom into, and there you go. To get to the rest of the design, we want to slide across, so for that we have the two-fingered swipe. The two-fingered swipe works up and down as well as side to side. The limit, of course, is that you cannot slide any more than the work area. To get back to the fit to screen, just touch the fit to screen icon. It's easier than trying to use the reverse action, as you'll need to use a few pinches. I'll just move the design more into the centre of the screen. Before I used the zoom, I deselected it. I did that because the two finger pinch or stretch is also used for the resize control if the design is selected. To demonstrate that gesture, I'll just create some lettering. If I select the logo before I actually create the lettering, it will be created just below the logo. It's still selected, so let's just press create. When the lettering is created, it's selected by default, so if I place my fingers inside the selection area and do a pinch stretch, I'll actually resize the lettering. Now that I have my 60 logo together with the wording, if I want to reposition them at the bottom of the screen, I select one part and then I tap with two fingers on the other. Now both parts are selected, if I just touch and hold on either one of the parts, I can drag them to the new position. Now I want to delete this lettering and use another envelope. So, to get the context menu, I just touch and hold until I see a square box appear. Then if I release, the context or right-click menu is shown that I can just touch delete. From the lettering type gallery, I'll select the fit to wavy line shape. Remember to select the main design, that way the lettering will appear directly below it. Then touch apply to create. That's good, but as I'm trying to make a big point, I'd like to see the lettering larger. So, if I use the two fingers stretched within the selected design, I can increase the size of the lettering, keeping any changes I've made by pulling out the no points proportion. Rotating designs is another great feature of gestures. If I delete the lettering by using the right click touch and hold option, 
and position the 6D logo into the middle of the area. As the logo is already selected, all I now need to do is anywhere in the work area, touch with two fingers. And as I twist my top finger around, the logo will rotate with it. Let me show you what this means in other programs, such as 6D Sketch. Here we have the logo without the words. As we know, 6D is a star, so let's add some stars. If I select the motif brush, I can now just draw on the screen and, just like a wand, stars appear from my finger. And there you have it, the new 60 embroidery system with a built-in Windows 8 touchscreen gesture support.